shaking feet of Oshomole in APC. We will save him. It was supposed to be a meeting with President Mohamed Buhari, but some All Progressive Congress APC governors had other plans. The removal of the National Chairman Adams Oshomole. He took the swift intervention of Borno State Governor Babagana Zulum to kill the plot hatched by Governors Kayode Fayemi Ekiti, Nasa Erufai Kaduna, Abubaka Badaru Jigawa, and Atiku Bagudu Kebi. Zulum was said to have spilled the beans when he saw that the quartet wanted to use the other governors to get the president's backing for Shumole's removal. The nation learns on Sunday. Sosi said he told the president that Eru Fayemi, Bagudu, and Badaru, among others, want to hijack the party leadership because they want one of them to be president in 2023. The quartet see Oshomole as an obstacle to the project. It is all about 2023. They want a blind person as chairman, someone they can manipulate. That is why they want Oshomole out. He told a stunned President Buhari Hardin, they want to hijack the APC for selfish reasons. The President agreed to the meeting after being told by the Erufai group that the governors wanted to see him on an issue of national importance. The four governors told their colleagues that the President wanted to see them penultimate Thursday. They informed them about the meeting late on Wednesday, ostensibly to make it difficult for them to attend. Apparently, wary of the quartet's motive, the pro Oshomole government shared other state matters and traveled to Abuja. At the meeting, the president sought to know the governor's mission. Erufai responded that the governors have resolved that Oshomole should go because he is not running the party well. He said they came to inform the president about their plan. So guys, uh, that is the APC internal crisis. It's been lingering for a very long time. Uh, back and forth, Oshomole must go, he must stay, and all of that. And at some point, you just see him finding his feet even back into that position. But what has been on before now is that Oshomole has been having problems with a lot of people, with a lot of governors, former governors, even during the election. We all know what happened. We know how they tried to remove him then, but they had to really recalculate. But because it was not quite long, he was made that chairman, and before you knew it, a lot of information started coming in that he did this and all of that and because of this internal crisis that made them to remove Oyegun, bringing Oshomole again they are complaining that he's too powerful or he's not really going along with the party structures that he's doing a lot of things a lot of allegations on him and for the couple with the fact that he's even having problem with in his own state and that is what is even you know that one worsening the whole thing having a very, very strong, I think even the, the, the quarrels or the rift he has been having with other people before now, they are not even as strong as what is even happening in his hometown. That one is even ridiculous that a lot of people have even injured themselves because of that. Because uh, Ezeyamu is coming into the party and Obaseki that, that was his favorite, you know, they suddenly become enemies. That is another uh, strong matter that is even going on and coupled with the fact that other governors still have interest in the position that is holding and according to the source that they feel that um, Oshomole is too powerful for them they want to become president in 2023 a lot of people who are really interested in this uh, 2023 presidency are just too many and the question they are not even asking i don't know whether this is the first time or whether it has been happening before now at least when we have a new government all everybody what everybody will be interested all everybody will be interested is all about to have good governance but this one is like they are not even interested in that it is who gets what that is what they are all concerned about 2023 2023 with all the numerous problems we are having none of them is even saying anything with all the things happening with showware the dss the national assembly here and there they are not even bothered the insecurity it's, it, you know, all of those problems now have become normal thing that, you know, everybody just sees it as a normal thing. People are not just even concerned. Mostly these is uh, politicians. They are not concerned. All they just want is to be president, to be president. And the ones that have been given the opportunity to be the president, what have they even uh, brought to the table? What results have we even 
achieved positive results in you know and that everybody's talking about a 2023 presidency people are dying because they are they themselves they are they are they've equipped themselves they they don't care they don't care about the masses but when it comes to that election time that is when you start seeing them they even want they can even go to the extent of coming to your house to even wash your dishes because they won't vote for you they will be telling you what you want to hear but what they are supposed to do now not quite long they campaigned they went out to campaign and for these 2019 elections now they have been given a power the same party what are they doing nothing they are planning for another other other uh, cycle which is going to be in four years time and the worst part of it is that we the masses once we vote that is the end nobody talks about good governance nobody talks about anything everybody goes to their own business but when it comes to maybe after one or two years we'll start complaining we'll be complaining we are not even following these people following them through on how they bring out their policies even if they bring some policies that we are not even comfortable with people just talk about it and everybody moves on and that's why these people are really getting away with all of these things but that being said that one is a different uh, uh story or different thing entirely but now they really want Oshomole out of that of that position because they believe that it's going to stand in their way in 2023 but if you ask yourself uh, a, a big question or another question even Oshomole has Oshomole really done well in, in the overall has he really done well because the excuses or the reason they are giving the president is that Oshomole is not running the party the way it ought to be you know it ought to be so they are giving the president uh all manner of uh, excuses i'm sure the president is not does not even have time for all of those because he said they have a committee that will settle all manner of uh, rifts or fracas between uh, you know internal crisis in apc so he's not going to say anything but maybe they just wanted to manipulate him but um luckily for Oshomole, somebody one of the governors quickly intervened but I'm sure very soon Oshomole might still leave that position because if you check what is happening in his own state, it's really a big distraction already that they don't even know how it's going to end. But you know, Oshomole, you know, is that type that he will want to push through. But that being said, that is their own internal crisis. But what we are concerned as a people is that in all of these things, where do they leave the people? That is where the problem is. And the people, most people don't even know all of these things. They just want to be, oh, I'm supporting this, I'm support this, supporting that. You know, I mean, this person's faction and all of that. That is what people are concerned about. And the unfortunate thing, the youth that are supposed to be on their toes, to be marking these politicians, they are the ones that they are using as tools to cause fracas here and there. Just remember what happened in Benin. Not quite long. And that was why they had to cancel the rally that was supposed to, you know, take place uh, last week. A lot of people were in the hospital as we speak. In the hospital, you know, they injured themselves. And the people they are fighting for, they are just hell and healthy, going, with, going on with their own business. They are still complaining about what is happening and they are still recruiting other people to fight again. I saw it on TV. They just went, all these politicians, they just went to... To the hospital to go and check all those uh, all those people that were injured and that is it oh they will just tell you oh uh, this and that you are fighting for us you are going to be okay and that that is it and people have been telling the youth these guys they have their children their children don't they are not involved in all of this is how much are they going to give you the good governors that we are talking about they are not even we are not seeing all of those things whether it is because of the peanuts they are getting from all these politicians and it's not going to help them in any way these people, we we don't even learn lesson, and that's why these people are getting away with all of this. Uh, all of this, uh, uh, they are tricks because that is what I see. See that they they do. It's all about tricks. They will just deceive them. One thing is that you will still see some people that will see yield for for their for their antics, because at the end of the day, where would they put you? What are they going to give you? The ones that have fought for them in the past, a lot of people have even died because you are fighting for politicians. In the daytime, they will be enemies. But at night, they know where they miss. And you just be surprised that, really, but some people don't learn. Some just believe on that a temporary thing they're going to get from them. And that's it. So it's really, really pathetic. If they want to remove Oshomole, like I said, that is their own uh, uh, cup of tea. It's their internal crisis. But at times, it, you know, it does affect us. If really they're having all of this fracas within the party, how will they, when will they have that time to even think of the masses at large? 
So guys, I don't know what you think. Leave your comments below in the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye.